Hey, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about ship sticks versus airlines if you're looking at going on a trip. So I have typically brought my own clubs with me, but I was curious about like how it actually breaks down. And I found this really helpful um, golf subreddit, but it's actually uh, a little bit dated in some of the information they're giving here. And what I wanted to do is actually just run this through a calculation so you can see how the costs stack up. So what I did is I just took what I have for equipment. So one thing, if you're doing it yourself, you are going to need one of these um, travel covers. So this is an extendable pole. It goes so that your clubs can be underneath it and it creates like a hard top to your bag unless you get a hard top case. I personally ended up buying the Sun Mountain bag. Um, the reason I did that is I like the fact, oh, I just uh, lowered my chair. I like the fact that it's got these gliders. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but I can sit here and actually easily glide this bag through an airport because it has this system that I don't have to like carry it through the airport. Now, the critical mistake that I made, though, in my assumption of the cost of this is that the first time I went on a trip, I went through Southwest where your first two bags are free. This time I'm flying through American, which is going to charge me $40 to check this bag. So let's take a look at the actual cost of this. And what you can see here is that on the 12th trip, because you char get charged for every trip, right? The going and coming for a trip, whether it's ship sticks or for these check bag fees, assuming that it's a $40 check bag fee and I spent $370 on this setup, which I didn't have to do if I just used ship sticks, ship sticks would be cheaper for the first 11 trips. And then after that, slightly more expensive. But you can see if you did 10 golf trips, the difference in cost, you're looking at maybe a $200. Um, but it's not just the cost differential, right? Um, there's pros and cons for ship sticks versus just bringing it uh, yourself on the airline. So I'll reveal those here on screen. So those are things such as the pros for ship sticks. And I have friends that have used it and loved it. And I'm probably going to switch is not lugging it through the airport. Then you don't have to lug uh, from the airport to your hotel or the course. Uh, and then also your clubs are going to be more securely packed. I do get some anxiety when I travel with my golf clubs uh, for these. You're watching these like airline employees just whipping them in with ship sticks. It's in a cardboard box and it's much more securely packed within that box. Um, the cons, though, ship sticks, yes. After about um, six round trips or 12 one-way trips, uh, you may find that it's cheaper um, if you're not using ship sticks. Uh, and then also uh, the big thing to keep in mind is when you're looking at this pricing right here, you can see that it's $70, but you have to give it three business days. So if you're looking to get a round in before your trip, you're not going to have your clubs for those three business days before your trip or after. Uh, so that's something to consider as far as pricing. Now, this pricing may go up, but the airline pricing will probably go up for check bags eventually, too. Uh, but one thing I wanted to make mention here, too, is they have a refer a friend program. So I'll have a link in the description of this video. Uh, you'll save 10 bucks on your ship sticks uh, purchase if you end up using ship sticks through my link in the description of this video. So for me personally, like the aggravation versus the extra little bit of cost after 12 trips, I'm probably going to start using ship sticks because uh, I didn't realize that uh, Southwest is not available for me for the free check bags. So the differential in price really isn't as much as I thought. Uh, this next video on the screen here will walk you through how to actually pack your bag if you do decide to bring your own bag and going through that. And we'll have one on the screen as well if you're deciding to go through ship sticks too. All right, I'll catch you in the next video.